recently the Jeep has been having starting issues and it doesn't appear to be misfiring and the engine sounds healthy overall. On acceleration everything feels fine and I, initially I thought this was the same problem I had been having previously as in when I you know had to rewire my whole PCM plug and everything but this time as long as I give it gas it, steam, it seems to engage so if it doesn't crank I give it a little gas and it immediately starts up but the idle is also really low so I have here this is the um, so this is the air control valve and apparently I can't adjust the idle on the Jeep for whatever reason, either that or I don't know how. And so th this should technically make it idle properly. It's idling a little too low now. So even upon starting it, it usually bogs down. And it actually does, I don't think it's a fuel sending issue because oddly enough, it actually feels like it's running a little too rich. So I really think it's an idle issue. So we're gonna change this, see if that fixes it. And then after that, I got some carb and choke throttle body cleaner so we can get it all cleaned up and, you know, hopefully repair it. I used to say I was sincere. So I never actually pulled the throttle body off before because, um, whatever reason, I really don't know why. But I'm sure this thing needs clean. But I just drove to O'Reilly's to get the stuff. So it's hot. Now it's like really hot. But I'm going to clean this thing good. So it'll knock out two birds with one stone. I'll know it's clean. I'll know it works good. And I'll know that the sun's already going down. So I have really sucky lighting. Jeep uses star bits and torque screws for everything. So gotta really get a full kit of that every single size you can possibly imagine get those suckers off like my candle lighting that is a, a candle to save me from mosquitoes because they kill me okay so supposedly you can just clean these things up make them all nice and pretty and they'll work again but um I'm just going to replace it because uh, this thing's probably 30 years old. I think it's just safer that way. I might clean this up and keep it though for a spare if for whatever reason I need to. Mm -hmm. 